Good morning, Susan Kerpik from Psychics Explained. Let's point out the obvious here. No psychic, no psychic medium has ever found anyone that's missing or solved a crime. They speculate and say that they do. They say that they can't reveal their sources. It might hurt the investigation or the police don't want to admit it, but they come to them all the time or they offer information. But sometimes, you know, the police don't take it seriously. Well, I have news for you. That's just a fallacy. OK, so really what's going on is there's no evidence. It isn't happening. And here's here is some evidence. <clears throat> Those of you who know this channel know that I talk about what is missing what is missing? If we lived in the world that these psychics and believers of psychics say we live in, that you can communicate with the dead and that psychics do solve cases, well, then explain just one of thousands of these stories, like this one that's happened um, just very recently. The two women who are missing in Oklahoma. These two, Veronica Butler and J Jillian Kelly. We don't know what happened. The police might have an inkling of what happened. They're not saying. Very sad. These poor women. We don't know. But somebody knows, and that person is the women themselves. And if it was some person who did this to them, they know. So it should be no problem whatsoever to just get in touch with them. If they've died, then the medium should have no problem getting in touch with them and asking them what happened, who's responsible. How many days have we been? Is it, I think it's seven days. Um, it's been It's been plenty of time. And we're recording this April 4th, 2024. I'm recording it in the morning. This is a, about an hour old article. <clears throat> and what I want to mention as evidence that this does not happen is that the media, which is getting all their clicks, does not have a psychic that is giving them the answers. So the media needs to turn out stories. Now, if they had somebody on staff who would just say, here's how it works. Here's where they are. Here's who's responsible. Here's the evidence. <clears throat> Here they are. Here are the women. If they had somebody on staff like that, well, my gosh, can you imagine they'd win Pulitzer Prizes and everything else? I mean, they would just win hand over fist of their investigative reporting that they're getting from the psychic that they have on staff. So they don't have anybody on staff. Why? Because there is nobody who can really do this. The other thing is the police are investigating. Why do police need to investigate? Just go arrest the person responsible and, you know, take them to take them to um, jail and get them to confess because obviously we know exactly what happened. Or if the women have left on their own, then they go find them wherever they're hiding out at and and then do a news thing with them saying, you two ran away and here's the, you know, why why did you do that? And here you are alive and and so on. Go on about your lives. And why haven't they done that? Why Why do the police not have anybody on staff? Because there is no such thing. Otherwise, why would we be using the resources, the, the, you know, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars of police resources, our taxpayer money to investigate if they could just go to their, you know, their psychic medium that is on staff, their go-to. Why would the media 
be turning out these reports speculating. We don't know what's happening. Here's the latest. Here's what we think. Here's what so-and-so says. According to this person we interviewed that is their best friend, according to the church they attended, here's what their, you know, they talk about what good women these were. Why are you going to them? Just say what it is. Why spend the money? Win the win the Pulitzer. I ask these questions, people say that's not how it works. Well, tell us how it works. If that's not how it works, tell us how it works. Because every reading I see, and I've seen a lot of readings from these psychic mediums, are talking about people like they're in contact with them. Like, and sometimes they do it over Zoom. You guys have all seen that. They do it over email, text messages, and so on, they say. You don't have to be in contact with the person. And they're suddenly in contact with them. I mean, within 10 seconds or so, somebody says I'm pays for a reading for their for their mom. It takes maybe 10 seconds or more before the psychic's in connection with them. Just ask, where are you? What happened to you? Are you saying that these women don't want to respond? Why not? And it hasn't been long enough? Oh, that's a bunch of crap. No. Psychic mediums communicate with people within, you know, hours after the death has happened. I've, I've got video of people saying this. It's on my channel. Thomas John had talked to a woman who said she'd just come from her, her mother-in-law dying. Just came from it. Actually, I don't think it was Thomas John, but it was one of it was in Thomas John's one of the women in Thomas John. I think it was Cheryl Murphy, one of one of Thomas John's um, people he um, endorses. She says, "I just came from my mother in law dying a few hours ago." And the medium's like, "Oh, she wants to thank you for being there and uh, for holding her hand while she was dying." And the woman said, "Well, my husband was holding her hand, not me." <clears throat> and the medium's like, well, yeah, she knows that. So within minutes, hours after, they can they can talk to these people. If a woman who can say, thank you for holding my hand in the hospital and for being there with me. Well, surely they can talk about these, tell you where these women are. It's just, we're asking the wrong questions. People keep saying we should have evidence we should say, oh, well, you got to prove these people wrong. You got to prove these psychics wrong. Well, that's what this channel does. And that's what a lot of people do. Okay, we prove them wrong because there's no evidence of it. If these people could solve crimes, if they could find missing people, then they would. we would not need a police force the way it exists now. We would not need a judicial system and all of the people around that encompass it, court reporters, bailiffs all that it would just be um a system where okay you're you're guilty here you go and the person would confess because of course they did it there's no way they can get around it because you know maybe the their grandmother will come in and who's dead and say you know you did it john you know you did it johnny <laughs> i mean you can't uh, we would have like as i said we would have no newspaper people they would all be they would just be saying what happened because they would each one would have their own medium. What is missing, people? Ask what is missing besides anybody solving these crimes. But if we lived in this world where this is possible, it would be a very different world. And that's what I'm saying. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you, everybody.